that? Oh, I'm not going on there. We're gonna do it. There's sharks in there. All right, guys, this is not good for my anxiety. Lisa's having anxiety attacks. This is a little scary. Okay, here we go, ready? Oh, okay. What's that? Right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh my. What's going on adventurers? We are back in Orlando. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a Disney park reservation today, but you know what? We're gonna make the best of it. We decided to come over here today and just wing it. We're gonna see what we can get into without a reservation. And we're taking you guys with us, so let's go. We're gonna start off our journey today here at Ford's Garage. We're gonna go have some lunch. We're gonna show you the menu, show you the food, show you the awesome decor. I mean, look at this beautiful car behind us, guys. We're off to an amazing start. What do you think, Lise? Yeah. I love it, and this is called Margaritaville. Yeah, wasting away again in Margaritaville. So we're starting off here, and this is, I believe it's called Sunset Walk. That's Margaritaville's version of like a Disney Springs or a Universal City Walk. That's their version. So we're gonna just go in here and have some lunch, and then we're gonna go on to our next destination, wherever that may be. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as we do wish you guys were here with us but you kind of are so let's go well guys every single detail here is just awesome look at these benches so this is a pickup truck tailgate this is so cool lisa's gonna sit in the back of the truck bed real quick she's going tailgating here at margaritaville awesome and you kind of match you got your blues on and yeah, look at her look at her go you ready to get some lunch yeah I thought so. Me too. Let's do it. I just wanted to point this out, guys. This is so cool. The handles to go inside the restaurant are actually gas pumps. That's too cool. <laughs> it works. Does it? Yeah. What? It has the bath holders in. That is cool. Real. So cool. I love how they even have the low carburetor burger. That fits perfectly with our diets. Look at the napkin setup. This is so cool. It's like a, a car shanty. How cool is that? Oh, we do have Sam Adams. Um, oh, yeah? yeah, they do. Oh, okay. Yeah, do. All right. That's our favorite right now, guys, is the Sam Adams Summer Ale. So if anybody wants to send Lisa some beer, <laughs> that's the kind she likes. There's actually a car over here above the bar, and every so many minutes the horn goes off. That's pretty awesome. Guys, this is the awesome ladies' room, complete with tire sinks, gas pump, so cool. Turn this to the left. Oh. Look at that nice booth. She's scored. Looks like our food is on the table. Look at these guys. What Sweet have you got? Tots. Sweet potato tots. What the heck? They're really good. And super burger. Oh, no carburetor burger. That's what it's a good name for this. Oh yeah. And these are egg, these are Kobe. Wagyu beef. Wagyu beef, which is supposedly the best. Okay guys, so I went ahead and tried some of my delicious Kobe Wagyu burger. And let me tell you, this is probably the first time ever that I didn't feel the need to put any ketchup or mustard on my burger. And the reason why is because I don't want to overpower it. I want to be able to taste all the flavors. It's so good. Let me give you a nice up close of this burger. Look how tender it is. It just you can just cut right into it. So perfectly done. Look at that. Mm. Do you guys know how Lisa always has everything deconstructed? <laughs> and her Kobe Wagyu beef dip burger is no different. So let's see her first bite though, her reaction. Mm. Just melts in your mouth, right? Oh my god. So good. Jen's gonna give me a toss. Hang on. Get ready. She better catch it. I know she can do it with that big mouth. Ready? Don't choke on it. <laughs> She's choking. I didn't even do it yet. <laughs> There's the power of suggestion. There. See, guys, the power of suggestion is real. Yeah. Don't choke. I was waiting to see if you did. <laughs> yes! <Woo>! Score! <laughs> 
she is. So that was pretty awesome, huh? That was awesome. The food was delicious. It was really good. Highly recommend that you upgrade to the Wagyu burger. Definitely worth it. It's like $4 extra, I believe, but so good. Where to? Nobody knows because we didn't plan today. I'm pretty sure they didn't have LED lights when these cars were new. I think you're right. I think that might be aftermarket. So here is a really cool looking store right next to Ford's garage. We're gonna go check it out. This is cool too, guys. I'm, I haven't seen this down here yet. I know they have like New York, but it's called Get Hoppin'. So you can rent a bike on your app. They do require masks in here, so we just popped our masks on. Have you ever seen swizzle sticks this big before? I was just looking for Oh my gosh, look necklace. here. <laughs> guys, I might have to try this. Pickle cotton candy. Oh, let's try it. Unicorn. Unicorn tails cotton candy. So I'm gonna allow Lisa to have a little bit, but she's only allowed to have like one bite. Okay, cake, watermelon. Which one do you like? I want to try pickle. I don't know. What if it's sour? I want to try pickle. Well, I'm gonna get pickle. You get whatever one you want. What's this called? I'm gonna get a pickle. I picked the pickle. Mm. I like the tin. Isn't that cool? What is it? Nerds. Oh, I've never had it. Wait, what? Is that Marilyn Monroe? I'm sorry. Did you just say you never tried nerds no, before? I have never had a nerd. This is so cool. Look, it's Marilyn Monroe. That is not even right. I'm sensing a pickle theme here, oh guys. Oh my gosh, look at this. How big They have a gummy pickle that actually tastes like a pickle. Oh wow, that is so cool. How much is it? I don't know. That would last you like a year. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so cool. <laughs> Next time Lisa asked me to make her breakfast, I think I'll just get this and be like, here. Here you go. No, it's not. <laughs> Sugar land. <laughs> get it, girl. Okay, so look what we just found. This is really cool. So I do believe that they're actually so that you can eat the gummy sushi. But you guys know us. We're going to be taking these into... Oh, look, his mouth opens too. Look. Yummy. We're going to be taking these into a sushi restaurant and we will be these getting are so fun, some sushi guys. with our raptor chopsticks. This is what $50 in the candy store is like. <laughs> Yummy. Woo. But we did get some hand sanitizer Score. too, so... It's not all candy. There's hand sanitizer and Raptor chopsticks. And how, how long will this candy last anyway? I mean, with us it'll last a while because we're not supposed to be eating it. We need to fuel our adventures. That's right. Jen has sprouted angel wings. Beautiful. Pretty cool. I love it. Okay guys, so the next stop in our journey is a surprise of course. We had no idea what we were doing today. We ended up here at the Icon Park. This is Breathe. Modern Wellness Bar, and Lisa is getting ready to partake of the Oxygen Bar for the first time ever. This looks really cool. Just like that. Cool. And then you can go ahead, when you have that on, and connect the end of that into here. Plug it in. And then I'm gonna give you some um, either peppermint or eucalyptus. So this is some eucalyptus oil. And then you're gonna just go like this, so it opens up your side. Oh, okay, you just breathe it in. So this is Cameron. She's currently giving Lisa a massage as she enjoys her oxygen bar. How do you like it, Lise? I love it. <laughs> it does smell good. I can smell that eucalyptus. It smells amazing. It's not something that's like super, like a super strong feeling, but afterwards you should feel like a little rejuvenated and it does last in your system for up to 48 hours. Nice. This is our deep tissue. Uh oh. They gave Lisa the heavy Gaming. machinery. Oh. <laughs> gonna get an attachment. They have attachments. Yeah. Go way up down your leg. Be careful, you're gonna loosen those screws in there. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> no, no. So, this is what's next for Lisa. She's gonna be partaking of the hydro massage bed. That's so cool, isn't it? It's like a car wash, but for a person. And you don't get wet. That's the best part. What do you have? Oh. Okay guys, this is where you enter. You can go to Icon Park. Check it out guys, this is 360 degrees of fish. This is awesome. 
Huge shout out to the Sea Life Aquarium for having us out today. What's going on guys? We're at the Sea Life Aquarium at Icon Park. This place is amazing. We're so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having us out today. Where are we headed? <gasps> what? Look at the floor. Is this a cave? This is so cool. It does look like a cave. Wow, look at the lionfish. <gasps> This is so awesome. <gasps> there is a beautiful eel right next to me. This is so cool. Wow. And look at this lionfish. He's <laughs> going right on by. So we just saw one of these guys and we are getting ready to take a peek into these ocean caves over here. Looks pretty awesome. See who's in here. Oh, hey guys. We have come into moon jelly territory. Yeah. Look at these guys. I never noticed the underside of them before, but that's what it looks like right there. How cool is that? That's pretty awesome. And this is what their top side looks like. Almost looks like a four leaf clover, doesn't it? Mm. They don't look real. No, they definitely don't look real. Now, one cool thing about moon jellies that I do know is that you can actually touch the top of them and not get stung because their tentacles are underneath. That is pretty cool. Purple. Who knew Thank you. <laughs> that it changed color? That's awesome. Wow. Older than dinos. Oh, guys, my favorite sharks. This is exciting. We are headed into the shark area. Look at these guys. They're cool. Oh, look at these beautiful angel fish. They are awesome. That's a black tip reef shark. Mm. That one over there is... Hey guys, what's up? We see these guys a lot in the Bahamas. And also at Discovery Cove. Oh, look at this guy. What is he? Is that a tuna? What is he? Oh, there goes a shark up there. That's a black tip reef shark also, I believe. Two of them. What a cool view. There he goes. He's just circling around, waiting for somebody to feed him. I feel like watching Jaws all of a sudden. That's Lisa's favorite movie, by the way, guys, just in case you didn't know. Just kidding. She does not like shark movies at all. Wow, that is so cool. Look at that. Did you notice that the, the middle is a hand? Like a giant hand? Did you see that? Yeah. Perch on the hand. I just want to go like sit in there with the scuba tank on. Here comes the ray. Here he comes. Thanks, Ray. Appreciate you. Wow, this is really cool. It's an octopus, guys. Part of it. Tentacles. It's moving. It looks like an adventure in here in Mexico, it says. Welcome to the Fountain of Youth. Okay, I'm for that. This is the Fountain of Youth. Yeah. Saying it's a larvae or something. Guys, Lisa's going into the tunnel. 
Let's go. Ah, <laughs> uh, back. Back straight. Back I'm going in the tunnel. Here we go. Gotta watch my head. Which brings us to the Pacific Ocean. Oh, look, we found the shark. Where? He's over there. See him? No. Oh, I see him. What is that, leopard shark? I think so. Hi, pretty little yellow fish. Wow, this is cool. Look at these guys. What is that? Ew. In that Where? container. Oh, what? Is he stuck? He looks like he's stuck. I don't think so. Oscar the Grouch. Seahorses, guys. The size of these guys. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, this is not good for my anxiety. Lisa's having anxiety attacks. Yeah. This is, we're gonna hold hands and do this. This is a little scary. Okay. Here we go, ready? Oh, it's like a cracking noise. What's that? Right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh my. No, 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 and we survived and I did not break that. Wow, that was intense. That was intense. Guys, we are currently in the Everglades. Look at these fish. Wow, these are those river monsters that you see. Look how big they are. Oh, look at the little submarine. That's awesome. And there's a dive tank. Really cool decorations. <laughs> I'm going to let you do it. I'll film for you. Lisa's going to touch a sea anemone right now. Yeah, so we're going to take two fingers. Two fingers. And we can touch the sides of the anemones and the tentacles as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. You sure. Yeah, you just want to stay away from the center because that's their mouth. The middle. <laughs> okay. Don't bite your finger. Good to know. And this oh. one won't attack me. Oh no, they don't have any teeth for the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. He seems to like that. Are they touching? Is it touching? Yeah, it's very light, like thin. Really? Seeing it move the tentacles. Huh. Crazy. All right, maybe I'll try it. Okay. That's so cool. How about this one? Do you want to go across the top? Oh, wow. I thought they would be Wow, you're very great. I thought they would be soft. I thought they would be soft. I always wanted great. to touch a starfish. That's awesome. I'm trying to stay away from this one over here. <laughs> okay, it's like prickly. That one kind of feels like sandpaper. Yeah, this is like sandpaper. Ooh. Leathery sandpaper. That's so cool. Thank you. That was awesome. Oh boy, guys. At the end of the attraction, there's always a gift shop. About to go check out some sea treasures. Ooh, look at all this cool stuff. They even have some plush stingrays. I did not see any turtles here today. They were supposed to have turtles here. I did not see them. I see Lisa found something interesting over here. Let's see what she found. What have you discovered over here in this awesome gift shop? Well, then you should probably get it. Oh, look at all these cool shark teeth. Jewelry. Why am I a blue? I see that. 
That is pretty cool. I think I want one too. You want one? How much is it? $7.95. That is a great deal. Nice. Pretty. Okay guys, just want to let you know, so the uh, three attraction ticket is $49.95, two attraction is $41.95, or just one attraction is $31.95. So that's a pretty cool deal. And I would highly recommend doing all three attractions. I do believe you can do them different days, so that does help. Hey guys, so we are currently at the Yard House. We are still inside Icon Park. The menu is amazing, and I found something that I'm really excited to try. I'm gonna show it to you right now. There it is right there, guys. Lobster garlic noodles, and you can actually substitute the noodles for zucchini noodles, which is really a cool thing, because I can seriously do keto. So guys, right now they have happy hour, half price app. Uh, so I ordered, it's called a carnivore pizza. Uh, you can get, what it comes with is sausage, pepperoni, beef, and like might have been another bit. So I, don't, I just ordered it with the beef and pepperoni. So it sounds pretty good, a lot of uh, protein. I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah. Of course they have my Sam Adams. <laughs> yeah, Lisa's getting her Sam Adams. She's just gonna have a couple of those for dinner. These raptors decided to get a carnivore pizza. Mm. What do you think, little raptor? Going in with the claw. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's see the cheese pull. Oh, there's the cheese pull. She just slid that right onto her plate like it was an art. Let's see how it is. It is very nice and crispy. Hot, hot, hot. Feel it, hot, hot, hot. Good. All right. Here it is, guys. This is the lobster garlic noodles. And of course, they substituted the zucchini for the noodles. So I'm getting ready to try it. It looks so phenomenal. Wow. What is happening over here? I'm on seat dancing. There's other people who see dancing over here. <laughs> You're not the only one. I'm not alone. It's going be that guy. Makes me want to go home and watch Mamma Mia. Well, if Kristen Baranski ever decides she doesn't want to do Mamma Mia 3, I think you would be a shoe in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, guys. This is a, like a half a lobster claw. It looks so good. Wow. And this is zucchini um, instead of yeah. pasta. These are zucchini noodles. It does have crab meat and shrimp as well as shiitake mushrooms. Wow, look at that thing guys, that is crazy. Look at that beautiful sunset. If you're gonna do it, do it when it's a beautiful sunset like that, that you can take it all in. I don't know how much they're paying attention to the sunset right now because they kind of have other things on their mind, but wow. Super cool. Super, super cool. Look at that shot. That is amazing. All right, guys, we had a fantastic day. I'm so glad we got to check out the Sea Life Aquarium finally. We've been wanting to do it for a while and it finally happened. So once again, shout out to Sea Life for hooking us up with media tickets today. We appreciate it. We had, I think it's safe to say we'll be back. Awesome, I enjoyed it. It, it was a really nice experience. Mm -hmm. Be sure to allow yourself between one and a half to two hours to fully experience it. Uh, you just don't ever wanna feel rushed when you're doing stuff like this. Definitely a great way to spend the afternoon or the morning. Definitely, you even get to touch things. Yeah. See, get to touch sea animals. Sea creatures. Sea creatures. <laughs> we had a lot of fun, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you on our next Raptor Adventure. Raptor Adventure.